Hallelujah. I want to um, bring up here, so one of a dynamic duo that's dear to my heart, um, Minister Tina, she's going to bring the word on today. Um, I'm excited and um, um, about what the Lord has to say through her. Um, I know her to be a praying woman, a praying woman of God. I'm going to sneak into a little bit of her prayer life. While we was over there praying, while she was over there praying, I kept hearing her say while she was speaking, um, do you trust me? Do you trust me? Do you trust me? And she kept saying, I trust you, God. I trust you, God. And so I have the utmost respect for her, and I have the utmost respect for her walk. I have the utmost respect for her husband. Um, they are a man and woman of God. And we're going to talk to you for a few minutes after they finish. But I want to bring up... Um, Minister Tina, I love you, sister. Uh, she is an awesome woman of God, and so I want to bring her up, and so she's going to share the word of the Lord. I was going to have uh, her her good thing, her husband, introduce her, but then I, I figured, you know, I'll just go ahead and give him the microphone. Amen? Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank and praise God this morning. I just want to um, to listen to a little bit of this song. Um, but God is so amazing. He's awesome in all his ways. Amen. And there's nobody like him. None. The song says that I looked all over, but I couldn't find nobody. That's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. You're so worthy. Can we just play a little, some of that song, please? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, God. Thank you, none like him. Right. That there's nobody like him. Amen. In all the heavens on the earth, there's nobody like him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to give honor to our pastors on this morning for the opportunity to stand before God's people and to trust me to bring forth a word in this season and in this hour Amen. to his people. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give honor to my husband for putting up with me when I can't put up with myself sometimes. But I thank God for his patience. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just thank you this morning, Father, for who you are. And I give you glory, first of all. Yes, I give you honor and I give you praise. Because without you, God, I am nothing. Yes. 
But with you, God, I am all things, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, and I ask, Father God, that you speak through me, God. I'm asking, Lord God, for your mercy this morning. In the name of Jesus. Lord, that when you speak, God, that your people will hear your voice, God. And when they see me, God, they don't see me, but they see you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I decrease that you may increase in me, oh God. That I may clearly articulate your word, God. That somebody, the word will fall on good ground. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, that they will be hearers of your word, God. And doers of your word, God. That we may take part of your word this morning, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, and I thank you this morning. I honor you, God. And I bless your holy name, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I do apologize. My mouth get a little dry when I do speak. But nothing that God can't take care of. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, as I was talking to the Lord and asking God what it was it that he wanted me to bring to his people, what did the people need? Because it's all about God's people. It's not about me. It's not about nothing about me, but it's about God's people and what he wants for us. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So he took me to <laughs> He took me to 2 Kings 6 and 1, which is the scripture that we'll be coming out of. Chapter 6, verse 1 through 7. And he's going to have his way this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. So he said, remember the, the story about the axe head? I said, okay, God. He said, and <laughs> it floated. I said, okay, God. I say, what what are you saying? So I'm just going to go right into the word. Um, If you have it, 2 Kings 6, 1 through 7. And I'll read in your hearing. And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, See now, the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. Please let us go to the Jordan and let every man take a beam or a timber from there and let us make there a place where we may dwell. And when they came to, to Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. And he cried out and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. So the man of God said, Where did it fall? And he showed him the place. So he cut off a stick and threw it in, and threw it in there. And he made the iron float. Therefore, he said, Pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and took it. Now, I know that they were talking about, the prophets were talking about a house. You may be seated in his presence. I know that he was talking about a house, a natural house, because they had, they had outgrown the house. So what the prophet, the son of the prophets wanted to do, they wanted to build another house that was bigger than the first house. Okay. That's what the story says. But God said, I want you to expand your walls. He said, I want you to expand your thinking. The title of the message is Kingdom Minded. God wants to take us to another place in him. When he designed this for us to be saved, it was for his purpose. It was not for our own good. He is preparing us here on the earth for the kingdom in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So he wants to prepare us. He wants to wants us to think about, and he wants us to know what he's doing in this hour and in this time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So he wants us to take what we do in the church 
and what we do in the community and take it to the world. He don't want us to stay confined into the walls of the church. There's more than us that's out there that are not in the church. He wants us to be kingdom builders. He wants us to be kingdom minded. And how we can be kingdom minded is we get in the word of God and we get in the face of God so that we can know what his will is for us. Because God is kingdom and he wants a kingdom people. He wants a kingdom minded people, a people that will search him, a people that would find him and find out what their purpose is for him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Lord. We serve a sovereign God. Yes, we do. Hallelujah, Jesus. And mediocre just ain't going to get it. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to work anymore. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We've done that enough. We've been in that place for so long that we've gotten comfortable. But I come to let you know that you got to come up hither. God is seeking and reaching for a people that will obey him and that will hear his voice. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank now, you. just from me being here, I know because God has shown me that these two people of God are kingdom-minded. But he wants us to be on one accord. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be with one accord. So if they're kingdom-minded in this season, then we have to come up. Mm -hmm. Because God is not going to allow them to come down where we are. Amen. Glory Amen. to your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So what they did was they went together to get the wood so that they can build the house together. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're here and we're gathered together. Amen. So God wants to take us up together. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But he wants our minds. He wants to instruct us. See, in the beginning of earth, in the beginning of time, God had Adam. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Work it out, Jesus. In the beginning, our purpose was to be a kingdom-minded people. But we fail because Adam failed. He ate of the forbidden fruit. So therefore, God had to do another thing. So what he did was he caused his son. He gave his only begotten son now because he has to redeem us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And now that he has to redeem us, he's in the earth. Mm -hmm. Jesus is in the earth and he, come to get, he came to give his life mm -hmm. for our sins mm -hmm. so that we can be redeemed and reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. But the purpose, the whole purpose was for us to be kingdom minded then. Mm -hmm. But being that the, that man fell, he gave us another opportunity. So now we're on the earth and we're trying to fulfill the word, the will of God. The will of God is for us to be kingdom minded. We have to get to that place so that we can do what God has called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah, Come Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on we have to get into the face of God because we have to know what God is saying. We have to know what God is saying. And if you are not in the face of God, you don't know what he's saying for your life. You don't know how you fit into the kingdom. You don't know how you're supposed to be building for the kingdom. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God is awesome. Hallelujah. He wants us to think outside of where we are. See, we're thinking on our level. We're not thinking on God's level, but he wants us to think on his level. God is a kingdom-minded God. Hallelujah, Jesus. He, he's He's beyond what we can even think or imagine. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Because, see, our minds can only go as far as we see. When, when we have vision, God has given us vision. We didn't get it on our own account. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, My Lord. God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I come this morning to make a deposit mm -hmm. from the Holy Ghost. Come on now. He's putting you on an assignment. Mm -hmm. He's challenging you or challenging us to go further. Mm -hmm. He's challenging us to come up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And to think like he would have us to think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus. We've been in this place too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's time to build. It's time to build for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's time to build on the kingdom. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. And we have to be kingdom minded. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. The Bible says, and when they came to the Jordan, they cut down the trees. In our lives, we have trees. Mm -hmm. There are situations that we need to cut down. My mm -hmm. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because to get to the kingdom, we got to cut off some things. Mm -hmm. We got to denounce self. Mm -hmm. right. Self has no reign. Mm -hmm. You have to put the kingdom before you put yourself. Mm -hmm. you ha we have to put our sisters and our brothers before we put ourselves. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is out there. The kingdom is not just in the house. Right. The kingdom is out there. There's a big world out there that God created for us to reach. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. He said, okay, so he said the iron head floated. We know that an axe head don't float. That's right. When it hits the water, it's sinking down. That's right. But what he's saying this morning, he said, don't be afraid to step out. Amen. Don't be afraid to listen to what he's saying. He said, don't be afraid to seek him. He said, even though you may stumble, he said, I won't let you drown. He said, I'll grab hold of you before I let you drown. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. This is a faith walk. We got to walk by faith and not by what we see. Hallelujah. Hey, God, because what we see is counterfeit. Hallelujah. It's not the real thing. Hallelujah, Jesus. He built us to be kingdom minded. He restored us to be kingdom minded. Yeah. He redeemed us to be kingdom minded. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He wants us to walk like king's kids. Right. He wants us to walk in the kingdom yeah. right here on earth. He wants us to do that. Amen. He said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah, God. Yes, He's Lord. mighty. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. He said in some of those things, see, the pro one of the prophet's sons that dropped, he was, he was working. Mm -hmm. He was working. And the axe head fell into the water. Mm -hmm. But he was most concerned because he borrowed it. Mm -hmm. But what God wants to say this morning is that we're borrowing people's issues. We're borrowing people's circumstances. We're borrowing people's situations. God said that's not yours. It'll cause you to sink. He said all you have to do is pray for them and keep it moving. He said even our families keep us down, seek us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our loved ones will take us down. Our children will take us down. But God said leave it alone. He said give it back to them. He said they got to do it for themselves. We can't do it for them. We can't make it into heaven for them. They got to walk on their own. They, they got to be tested on their own. They got to experience the situations on their own. Hallelujah, God. Thank God. Hey, God. Hey, God. My Lord. Any situations that you borrowed from your from your faith, give it back. Give it, back. it don't belong to you. And you wonder why you're sinking. You wonder why you're feeling low. You wonder why your mind ain't right. You wonder why you can't get focused and you can't walk straight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give that borrowed thing back. It don't belong to you. Hallelujah, God. That's a good word. He said, don't, don't worry about sinking. He said, if you... Do my will. He said, I'll hold on to you. I won't let you fall. Hallelujah. Just like the ass head. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, it fell. Hallelujah. Oh, but he worked a miracle. And he pulled it up. Hey, God. It didn't stay there. We know in the natural that it's, put, it's supposed to fall. It's supposed to sink. But when we're in the presence of God, we shouldn't fail. We shouldn't fall. We shouldn't sink. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All those borrowed things you did, you borrow, give them back. God said give them back. They're not yours. Give them back to the owners. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. God has a work for the owner. But if the owner don't never go through nothing, mm -hmm. how can the owner come up? Mm -hmm. 
How can the owner know what God can do? How can the owner know what God is about? And who God is? Hallelujah, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. My Lord. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Kingdom-minded people don't have hang-ups. Because they're all about building the kingdom. They don't have time for this, and they don't have time for that. Their mind is, is focused on, God, what can I do next? Lord, what do you have for me now? God, what am I doing? What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go, God? What, what am I doing next, God? We working in the kingdom. Hallelujah, Jesus. And on this earth, he's preparing us for the kingdom. So, when we women became, before we became pregnant, we did not know how to be a mother. We did not know. There's no manual. But, but when we had the baby, see, all along while we're pregnant, we're trying to find out how to be a mother. Mm -hmm. And we're learning things, and we're taking, taking things, you know, in, and mm -hmm. we're learning, and we're reading, and we're, we're getting information. Mm -hmm. So that when we do give birth, we know how to be a mother. Mm -hmm. That's what's saying with this on earth. God wants, he's preparing us. Mm -hmm for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But he's preparing us because he knows we don't know about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But he wants to prepare us for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here on this earth. That's our job. That's our duty. That's mm -hmm. our journey. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. We're learning how to be kingdom minded. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. If we allow the Holy Ghost to teach us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you Jesus. But we have to be obedient. Yes, we do. Yeah. God I thank you. Yes Lord. We have to be on one accord. We have to know where we're going. Mm -hmm. Wherever they're going, we have to get with them mm -hmm. and get behind them and help the vision come to pass. Mm -hmm. Because the vision is not in these walls. Yeah. The vision is in the past the community. Jesus. Past the community. Amen. It's for the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if how can we reach the world if we stay in these walls? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. We have to expand the kingdom for God. Glory to God. We are his ambassadors. Thank you. If he didn't think that we could do it, we wouldn't be here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Father, thank you, God. I thank you, God, that your word is penetrating hearts and minds, God. Mm -hmm. That your word is sufficient, oh God. Yes, in the name of name Jesus. Of Jesus. That your word shall come to pass, yes, God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you this morning, God. Yes, God. We honor you for your word. Yes, thank, God. You, Lord. thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord, you, I Lord. ask that you penetrate every heart, God. Yes, I ask, yes. Father God, that you give us, Father, what you would have us to have. Yes. So that we can build on your kingdom yes. and for your kingdom, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God, I praise you and I honor you. And I bless your name. Yes. Amen. 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 I can only give you what God has given me. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Listen. As she was speaking, I couldn't help but think that when she started think, talking about the, the axe head <coughs> sinking. Mm -hmm. And the amazing thing was they asked the man of God, he said, show me where it fell in. I believe the Lord is asking us to do that today. To show him where it fell in. Mm, my Lord. There are some areas in your life that things may have fell in. Things may have went wrong. God is asking you to show him where it, where it, where it is. He knows where it is. He just wants to get you to the place where you're standing there. So that you can see him work. So if there's an area in your life where there's hurt. 
there's an area in your life where things may have went wrong. There's an area in your life where things may have not gone the way it's supposed to be. There's an area in your life where you've been misunderstood, you've been hurt. Maybe something, maybe you're that ex that got dropped. I want you to come to the altar. I want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. Amen. Amen.